Uh, last Tuesday, um, a person from uh, the Students Against the State put up a display um, inside our, of our uh, flag memorial that we had uh, placed up to it. Um, that flag memorial had 5,413 uh, flags set out and uh, each one represented a fallen soldier of Iraq or Afghanistan. Well, I saw the memorial, and frankly, I, I was pretty offended. Um, I'm completely against the war. I'm against the military. You know, I'm against the soldiers that fight in the war. And so to me, to put up those flags and say, oh, look at how many Americans have died, and completely ignore the fact that 850,000 Iraqi civilians are dead because of U.S. military action, I thought it was just, frankly, disrespectful. I thought it was wrong, and I thought someone needed to stand up for it. So. I decided, independently of the group, to write a couple signs in protest of the Veterans Memorial. So I wrote two signs and decided to stick them on American flags, uh, prop them into the ground. One or two group members did help me with the signs. I asked them if they thought it was a good idea and they said yes. But as a group, we didn't vote on it. We didn't decide to. We didn't, they didn't fund it. So it was a mistake of me to put the group name on the signs and that's caused a lot of confusion. Their, their sign said, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly, uh, I know the one that said that um, uh, more, uh, more civilian casualties were uh, associated with U.S. troops or due to U.S. troops than uh, terrorist activities and apparently it was from a peer-reviewed Lancet survey. That banner was placed up um, on two upside down flags. Uh, well, I sat on the bench and watched reactions for a little while. Not a lot of people came by. Uh, after probably 20, 25 minutes, two army privates uh, walked over and they looked at the flag for a while, or they looked at my signs for a while, excuse me, uh, and they called some of their friends and were like, hey, there's something going on at the army memorial. And then they took the signs out of the ground and started walking away. And I confronted them. I said, that's my property. I have the right to free speech. I would appreciate it if you gave me my signs back. And then we did have a little back and forth. Uh, eventually, they, they did give me the signs back, and I planted them back in the ground. Uh, and a couple of friends of mine came by, so I finally just decided to give up and go eat with them. Uh, then later, I guess I got contacted by quite a few people that were uh, very, I guess you could say, outraged at what happened. I got a call from uh, another vet, or from the project coordinator for the Vets Club, Leanne Dunn, and uh, she let me know that this uh, display was up. She had received word from another Vets Club member. Um, so I went on over. Um, I saw the display that they'd put up, and um, I took it down. The thing about Professor Swan is really unfortunate because he came out with an article in support of our group not knowing what we had done or what I had done. Uh, he had written the article a week before and it just happened to come out the day after the event took place. You know, I, I started um, trying to contact uh, Dr. Swan the day it happened. Um, I found out what group had done the display and then found out who their faculty advisor was and um, he wasn't in the office so he left a note and um, went back and forth leaving uh, voicemails for a little bit but um, we talked uh, the next day I told him that it looks it looked bad the way um, his letter to the editor had been published um, and um, he had, right from the get-go, assured me, you know, that was not his um, design. First of all, he's a veteran himself. Um, he views what Patrick had done as uh, uh, desecrating our memorial. Um, so after I, you know, talked with him about all these things, it, I was definitely um, convinced, you know, this was not his intent. Apparently, somebody uh, hurt his or uh, caused damage to his fence. I don't know much about it. Um, 
the Vermilion Police Department is, uh, you know, doing an investigation, and I hope to God they can find out who it is. My views, and I think the views of most of the people in the Anarchy Club, although I can't speak for them, are pretty out there. I don't think a lot of people have been confronted with these views before. So it, when we make a statement, I think it's important to say something that'll get people's attention and say it rather loudly. So I, I probably would have gone about it about the same way. I don't have the budget to make 850,000 Iraqi flags. If I did, then I probably would have done that. I've talked to a couple of the people from the veterans group after the Freedom Forum, and they kind of discussed their views with me. Uh, mostly their problem was the fact that we planned the signs in the ground, which was against school policy. I wasn't aware of that at the time. Disrespectful is a tricky word because, I mean, on some level, yes, we were disrespectful, but that's kind of the point. Uh, we don't think we did anything, I don't think I did anything ethically wrong. I didn't understand this due, the school guidelines, and I've apologized for that to the Veterans Club, but I really don't think there was anything, you know, morally reprehensible about what I did. I think that they have the freedom of speech, you know, that, the, or, you know, that they should be able to protest even our memorial, it's not a problem. But the second that they, you know, display things inside of our memorial, um, that was just, a, you know, that, that was the slap in the face. And um, not only it hurts, it angers, it outrages, and it polarizes a community that, you know, we don't need that.